Hello students, welcome to the physics session. My name is Bhavna and today we are going to learn the topic of magnetic field and magnetic lines of forces. This falls under the unit of magnetic lines of forces and magnetic field under the theme of magnetism. Now students, you may have observed that you can attract a iron nail or any magnetic material towards a magnet even from a distance. Right? That means you do not have to go and touch the magnetic material to pick it up. Now why or how does this happen? The reason for this is the magnetic field and the magnetic lines of forces. That means a magnet has a tendency to attract the magnetic material even from a distance because it has an influence around its vicinity. That means a magnet has the magnetic field around it. So anything that comes under the magnetic field of that magnet, inside that magnetic field, it gets attracted to the magnet. So let's begin with the definition and then we'll do one more activity to understand how we get the meaning of magnetic field. Now magnetic field is defined as the space around the magnet where its influence can be detected. That means the place or the area around the magnet at in which any magnetic material comes, it will get attracted to the magnet. So, the space around the magnet where its influence can be detected is called the magnetic field. Now, how we can understand how magnetic fields are formed? We need to do an investigation. In this investigation, you need to have a white paper and some iron fillings. Now, what are iron fillings? Iron fillings is nothing but iron dust. So, when you have iron dust spread over your white sheet, you are going to see how the magnetic lines are formed. In this experiment, we are going to spread some iron fillings on a white sheet over a drawing board. Now, once you do this, place a bar magnet in the center of the drawing board. Now what will you see? Slowly and steadily the iron fillings form a pattern. They form a pattern around the magnet you had just placed. These pattern which you are able to see is nothing but the magnetic field of the magnet. That means till the point all these iron fillings arrange them into a pattern Till that point, the influence of that magnet can be felt. So, anything that comes in that influence will eventually get attracted to the magnet. Okay, students. Now, if I draw a picture of how the iron fillings get arranged in a pattern, this is the pattern that you observe. You observe that the iron fillings are more near the pole of the magnet. So, near both the pole you will see that the iron fillings are forming some circular shape and from the pole you can see there are some concentric circles drawn from both the poles of the magnet. Right? These things are defined as the magnetic field. Now, how do we define it? The iron fillings move and reposition themselves because they are affected by the magnetic force of the bar magnet. So this is the reason why my iron fillings are arranging them in the pattern that you can see in the image. Right? Now, what are the various properties of these magnetic fields? These magnetic fields are filled with the magnetic lines of forces. Now, we already understood what are magnetic field. Magnetic field is the area around the magnet through which the, it, its influence can be felt. But these magnetic field, the influence of the magnetic field is affected by what students? They are affected by the magnetic lines of forces. So, we can say in a term that the magnetic field is filled with the magnetic lines of Forces. So, the lines, the pattern you are observing is nothing but they are the magnetic lines of forces. 
Now, what do you observe is written here. The path along which the iron fillings readjust in the magnetic field is the magnetic lines of forces. These magnetic lines are highly concentrated near the poles and they form concentric circles from the or in between both the poles of the magnet. Right. Now, we observed that what is magnetic field, right? How these magnetic field are filled with the magnetic lines of forces, where they are concentrated more, where they are concentrated less, they are forming circular pattern. But we do not still know what is the direction of these magnetic lines of forces. Now, to understand that, we again have to conduct one more activity. Now, in that case, the activity will take three things. One is a white sheet of paper. Two is a bar magnet whose north and south is known. Okay. And third is small directional compasses. Now, once you have all these three components, you can test where the lines of forces are moving from. Now, in this experiment, you have to place your bar magnet in the center of the white sheet and if you do not have a number of directional compasses, you can take one and then place it over all these positions. So, don't take it as number of compasses. These are the position of the compass that you need to place. So, after one, you have to place it at two, then three, then four and then so on. Right. So, if I draw a pattern over here, you can see what you need to do. You have your magnet, you first place your compass as position number 1. In this position, the 0 position shows your south direction and your 1 position shows your north direction. Once you are done with this position, you will pick your compass and then you will place it on the second position, then on the third position. So, you are picking up your compass and you are drawing the lines as the direction is shown on the compass. You will observe students that as you move last position, your compass will be pointing in a direction that is inward the pole of the magnet. In the first position, it is moving outward. In the last position, it is moving inward. So, in one way, on drawing these lines, if I just pick my compass and draw this in a line, how things are working, then I will get such a pattern. What a pattern is this? In the end, in the edges, my magnetic lines of forces are moving out. And actually, if you can make, they will also make a circular pattern and they will enter the other end. In this case, you will observe that the pattern that we are observing, that they are coming from one side and moving in the other side, it is the north coming out of the north direction and going inside the south direction. On drawing the magnetic lines of forces, as you can see here, you will see the pattern so observed in a following manner. Right student? So, from the north pole, the lines are moving out, but in the south pole, the lines are moving in. Ok students? So, the final image that you observe will be such an image. The pole lines, the magnetic lines are moving out of the north pole and they are moving inside the south pole, right? And in between, we get concentric circles. So, after doing this experiment, we can have a better definition of magnetic lines of forces and it is given here, students. It is closed continuous curve in a magnetic field along which the north pole will move if free to do so. These are the field lines in which the pole will move if it is free to do so. And its direction is given by the direction in which the north pole will point. So, after doing this experiment students, we can say magnetic lines of forces are those lines of forces in which the north pole will move if it was free to do so. Ok students, now when we learn about magnetic lines of forces, we have to learn about various properties of magnetic lines of forces. The various properties of magnetic lines of forces are hence here. They are closed continuous curve. Now as we already observed in the above experiment, magnetic lines of forces are 
closed continuous curve they do not break in the between the second point says they travel from north to south outside the magnet and from south to north inside the magnet that means if i have a magnet here and this is my north pole and south pole my magnetic lines of forces are coming from north to south from the outward but if i say they are continuous curve then the field lines will be continuously moving inside the magnet also right student so in this case they are moving from south pole to the north pole the third point says they contract laterally that is they bend along the length of the magnet that means if i have my magnet here then they are going to contract at the length of the magnet at the length they are slowly contracting then point number 4 says they mutually repel each other now magnetic field lines will not cross each other ever because they are repelling each other each line is an individual field line that will never cross another line okay and they never intersect with each other so this these two points come together that they repel each other and thus they never intersect each other okay students now the last is if i use a horseshoe magnet how my field lines will look now here we already have an image of a horseshoe magnet if the experiment that we had done before is described using a horseshoe magnet the pattern of the magnetic lines of forces is obtained as shown here in this experiment we understood that magnetic lines of forces always go from north to south right and they are continuous curves so even if i change my magnet my properties of the magnetic lines of forces does not change in this case also the magnetic lines of forces will be to from north to south and they will be concentric continuous curves as described even for bar magnet okay students thank you